Hello, Serge here from the back porch. I think we're just going to start out real simple here and, and, and uh, call what I'm going to talk about here today the Surge Swing Simplified. And, and, and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm using that title is because I have, I have a piece of paper that I had got out of my pocket the other day and it had wrote, I had written on it Surge Swing Simplified and I had some symbols and in terms of simplifying it about what the backswing is, the forward, the downswing so to speak from the top of the transition to impact and then the forward upswing all the way up. But we do call this the forward upswing all the way but I'm going to break it up into three parts. And, and I didn't write any notes, all I had was Surge Swing Simplified basically up, down and up was what my notes were. So I guess that's something I either uh, heard in a, on a golf channel, somebody say it, somebody said it to me in a lesson, or, or whatever, but it, it, I, had, I always carry usually pencils, a pen with me and my notepads so I can write notes. So as we know, what is the best way to simplify the surge swing, which is a what? A limited turn, three quarter backswing, vertical. A limited turn to where we turn to the forward arm over the toe line, lift the club up to three quarters and vertical so that if we drop it, the club is, is light, it comes straight down. There has to be a little bit of turn. As, I, as you've heard me say many times, one of my biggest issues is I get into a point where I do so little turn, or actually no body turn, the club's slightly going outside, and then, so instead of my hands being here over my shoulder, they're like here, would be over my head. When I swing straight down, that is effectively taking this aiming line here and, and just turned it a little bit to the left, so I'm hitting a straight pull. That might hit the green, might hit the fairway, but the point is it never starts at the target. And since I tend to hit a little draw, it always should start at or just a fraction right of it. It's starting left. And dead straight a little left and if I have a drawer on it it's going it's going to go a little bit more left than that so what's the best way to simplify it the, basically today's morning golf swing the rotational swing is more of an around swing make a huge turn get your get and turn as far as you can go and the arms are come, the, the forward arm is getting way inside the toe line right from this view it's way in here if you were swinging with your butt on the wall you'd be slamming the club into the wall you all know those those drills and everything else and then, and then naturally the whole thing starts with the downswing. You just, you just turn your hips and your shoulders. In some cases, many of them stop by snapping their left knee, which is not good. That's, that's what we know happens with Tiger Woods. And, that, and that's why I've said for years and years, that's, that's what's causing his knee problem. And if he doesn't stop doing it, he's still going to keep continue to have knee problems because the knee and the ankles, the knees and the ankles are flex joints. They're designed to be in dynamic motion flex. So where we stop by a little lateral shift and then and then turn over, and we have we have our, our forward foot. We roll over to the outside edge. Uh, a foot that's rolling over is 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 consistent with a flex knee. A straight knee has the foot flat. So we practice rolling over a little bit on the foot, on the outside edge of the foot. That keeps the knee flex. That's what gives us the bump when I have that little lateral shift. Your belt buckle will only move one to two inches max. If you take too big a bump, you're gonna you're, you're going to go way outside your foot, and your, and your right side or your backside will actually collapse down. You'll be in trouble. It's just a soft little bump, and once you hit that left foot, the outside left foot, you're just standing right up in that swing up, stand up, pop tart. If you really want to make it simple, as we've already said, a little bit of turn and a lot of lift, and then a then a little sh shift, and then swing up to the tee finish. And so basically, to truly simplify it as much as you want, the surge swing is just what? As you start your backswing, you lift the club up, you swing it down to the ball, and you swing it back up. So it's up, down, and up. But as we know, because since down is free, right, we start really thinking about swinging up the second, we, the second the, that we're making our transition, I'm already swinging up as I'm moving down to the ball. That's how we, another thing that helps us shallow out the divots and make better consistent hits and increases and gets us to, to stay behind the ball because usually any concept of trying to hit down on the ball is going to move you, is going to very likely have you turning too much and moving forward to the ball. So, like I tell a lot of people, in my mind's eye, if I'm swinging a golf club, all I'm thinking about is I take it, and I'm going to do it from this view, I take it straight back and up, straight down and straight up. I just feel like I'm almost swinging like this in a circle in front of me. And we know that what's, with the rotational swings, we always talk about when they get deep, we hear how they get trapped. Well, there's no getting trapped when you swing your arms in front of your body, because that's the only place you can swing them. That's the only place God designed your arms to swing in front. So we just get that little bit of turn, and we swing it up, we swing down, and swing back up. Or in other words, if we're really going to go what we say, swing it up, 
to the top of the backswing, lift it up. It's all up, and I swing up to the to the finish. So it's up and up all the way. But remember, when you start your when you start your transition, which most people call a downswing, it automatically goes down. Down is free, so why do we need to focus on it? What isn't free is the forward upswing. So just keep thinking up. We swing up and then swing back up into the forward swing. So I think that's probably the simplest way you can think about the surge swing. Because what goes up comes down and goes right back up a lot more easy as compared to what goes around comes around. So that's what they say about life. What goes around comes around. Well, that doesn't work in a golf swing because that's rotational. But what really works is what goes straight back and up comes straight down and back up again. So let's think about up on both sides of the ball. All right, simplify the surge swing to up and then swing back up on the other side with that little bit of turn and you'll be hitting it more solid and straight and shooting those lower scores. Well, that's it for the search for today and I'll be talking to you all again soon.